Hey, Jill. You know them old sugar daddy. They be tricking their tail them girls. I said you can have whatever you like. I said you can have whatever you like. Yeah. Baby, it's me, dear. Hey guys, this is my second tutorial on a. Well, actually, this is my first tutorial using Visual Basic. But it's my second tutorial overall. Um, my second video. So, um, I had this stuff already made just because the first video took like 13 minutes, you know, and it was a waste of time because I messed up a whole bunch of times. But uh, I got this stuff right. I'm just going to show you what I have here. Okay, so in Visual Basic, I have a form, obviously. I have a text box. I have 16 buttons. 4 by 4. 16 buttons, right? The, all the button sizes is, is 45 by 45. Let me show you. 45 by 45 text. No, not, not text. Size. Size, right? 45 by 45. Right? And for uh, 10 of the buttons, 10 of the buttons, it's the number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's what the text is going to be. Then I have another button right here clear it's, it says CA which stands for clear all and uh, that's basically it you know and I have plus minus divide multiply and equals okay now we're gonna go into one of these numbers all these numbers are basically all the number of buttons are basically the same it's just you know you'll know you all you'll just see right here right here text box one dot append text um, you know parentheses quote zero quote parentheses basically it's just telling it for the text box to add um a number saying zero right but um that's the same thing for all the numbers all of the buttons is, has numbers on them you know it's just uh she so just change the numbers change the text you know and uh in a clear all button it's very easy it's a uh, text box one dot text equals Parentheses, parentheses, which means there's no text. Oh, we also have a label up here. Label. You, it's very important. You need the label. Right there. Label. And, uh, you could, well, I had a label, but I noticed after that you could just put a setting into it. Um, let me show you this. I have a setting over here called first. Um, basically it's just saving the first, before, before when you press these buttons. Here, let me show you. Press this button right here. My dot setting star first equals text box one dot text, then text box one dot text equals parentheses parentheses my dot setting star save, and uh, label one dot text equals plus. Right? It's basically just saying label one dot text is plus is a plus sign. Right? Label one dot the label one is um is invisible. Right now the visible is set to is set to false, so you can't see it. Um, then over here it's setting my settings at first equals text box one dot text. It's just saying that the, f the first setting would be um, text box one dot text. So whatever you had before you cl click the button, that's what the setting is going to be. Because right here it says text box one dot text is clear, right? So it's just saying to clear everything that's in text box so that you can ha add more numbers later. And uh, you save the settings. That's basically it. And it's the same thing for all of these for subtract divide and multiply it's just uh it's just changing the text to label text to you know subtract divide or multiply and then the equals which is the most harder here is probably the hardest it's not really that hard but hardest out of all of it it's going to be if label one dot text equals plus you know plus then text box one dot text equals val which is value my dot settings at first plus val text box one dot text you know yeah else if label one dot text equals subtract then well not really subtract but you know no dash text box one dot text equals val my dot settings at first subtract val text box one dot text else if label one dot text equals multiply then text box one dot text equals val my dot settings dot first multiply val text box one dot text else if text box one dot text equals val my dot settings start first, divide, val, text box one dot text, and if. Basically, it's just saying, whatever label one dot text is, you do text box, the text box text would be 
the value of my dust of the my dust setting of the first setting you know um and whatever the label one dot text is you know which would 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 either add subtract multiply or divide the other value which is the current text so if you do all that right it should look like this I didn't change the form text but you could change that later whenever you want to and it's gonna be like this one two three which is 123 plus one or two one three right and if I do it right it should give me 130 something one, or 330 something sorry 336 that's what it is right there 336 um, you could change other properties if you want. This is just basic, so you know what you know what it is. I didn't really focus on the visual on this, except for the buttons. But I could. You can make this very visual. Um, you just you could change the t you know the text from do it right to left, or I mean not right to left, but to have it instead of being on the left side, be it on the right side. So it looks more like a calculator. You know. Um, you have the clear all button here. Whatever. And then uh. You just you have all these buttons here. It's pretty cool. Yep. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you come back. You know, I hope I could do more of these tutorials. Um, have a nice day. Comment, subscribe. You probably won't subscribe because I only have two videos right now. But please subscribe.